It was just another day for the Karasuno team, they were currently practicing for their next practice match with Nikoma. Everyone in the team was working extremely hard, not even breaking a sweat, the gym was filled with squeaking shoes, volleyballs being smacked down onto the floor, and some occasional yelling from Daichi. Some moments later, Kajima excused himself to go to the lock room. UK permitted him as he rushed down to the locker room. Hey, has anyone noticed anything going on with Kajima the past week? Yeah, he's been excusing himself a lot during the middle of practices. He even goes home early, almost 2 hours before practice ends. That's not like him at all. He was fine before this week, what could possibly happen to him? You think he got posseized? OMG a ghost must have taken over his body. Dumb. Dumb as fuck. I don't even want to know how many brain cells you guys have in there. Less than an average person to say the least. I agree that Kojima has been acting weird lately, but we can't just ask him. Daich is right, we need to respect his privacy. I'm sure he'll tell us when he's comfortable. By that time they finished the conversation, Kojima walked out, his shirt a bit wrinkled, and his hands are a bit red than normal. Sorry about that, I just needed to text my sister. It's alright Kojima, let's get back to practice before coach comes back. A few hours later. The third years have already went home, along with Kiyoko and Yachi, leaving Inoshita to lock up the German club room. Everyone else was currently changing in the club room but, Kajima was changing in the locker room of the gym. The others were curious on why Kajima was not changing with them as usual. They didn't really look at him while changing so they became a bit worried. Well most of them did. Kajima is not even changing with us. Now there's really something wrong with him. Wrong use of words Nishinoya. Can't he trust us? We are his team for fuck's sake. Put a damn shirt on first baldy. Guys we need to respect his privacy, like Daichi-san said, we can't just ask him, he'll think we are stalking him. Can't he trust his own boyfriend? Hinata, I'm pretty sure you have your own secrets from him. You right. Atsukishima was the first one to finish changing, he grabbed his things, and made his way to the door. Yams you better hurry up, before I leave you. Okay. Atsuki. Ah. Could you tell Kajima I'm about to lock up, Atsukishima? Sure whatever. Atsukishima made his way to the gym, navigating his way in the dark, that was lit up by a lamp above him. He went inside the gym, making his way to the locker room, opening the door, that was obviously not locked. He opened the door, and stepped inside the locker room to tell the king, that Inoshita was about to lock, up the gym. Oh I king. Inoshita-san is about to. Atsukishima stopped in his tracks to see Kajima adjusting a binder around his chest and stomach. King, you're trans? Kajima immediately flinched, grabbing his shirt and putting it on quickly as possible. He covered his chest with his arms and faced Tsukishima. No, what do you mean? Do you think I'm stupid? I saw your binder. Kajima stayed. Quiet, he couldn't bring himself to bring up the truth to someone, especially if that someone was Tsukishima. Not gonna say anything. Just say it. I'm sorry what? I know what you're about to say so just say it. Kajima's eyes began to water as he held his hands in a fist, trying to keep tears in, which failed. I know you're gonna make fun of me for this so say it already. King, what the actual? fuck are you talking about? Kajima looked up at him, why didn't Tsukishima made fun of him, or call him out? What? Did you expect me to say queen or some shit? I. You may think I'm a salty bastard, or whatever, but I would never call someone by the wrong pronouns, that's just being plain dumb. If you're a guy, then you're a guy, it's your choice to make anyways. You're not the queen, you're the king. Kajima was shocked, but touched. He never knew Tsukishima could be nice, in an aggressive way, it made him wonder, if something similar happened to him. Now hurry up, Inoshita-san is about to lock up. 
Kajima smiled a bit and wiped his tears. Tsukishima was about to go out the locker room, but Hinata and Yamagachi were at the door, listening to everything. Kajima, you're trans? Hinata, I can explain. That's so cool. My cousin is non-binary. Hinata immediately jumped into Kajima's arms, kissing his nose and forehead. You're not mad. Why would I be? I love you for you, Kajima. Congrats, Kajima. Maybe I can buy you a different binder, one that has finer material. Then the second years bursted into the gym, more like Noya and Tanaka bursted in, and the trio followed them. Yeah, let's Geo Kajima. You found your true self. Oh, I quiet down, idiots, but congrats, Kajima. Congrats, Kajima, on coming out. Congrats, Kajima Kun. I'm glad it was nothing too serious. And then Suga came bursting right after, with the other third years and managers following behind. Inoshita texted me the news, OMG congrats Kajima. I'm glad you found yourself. It's so glad to see you for who you really are. I can order a trans flag for you, Kajima. Congrats Kajima come. We all support you. Kajima almost couldn't hold his tears back, he gave the team a small smile thanking them for the support. Thank you guys for supporting me. To celebrate, Suga, Kiyoko, and Yachi brought them to restaurant and made Kajima order whatever he wanted. Kags was thankful for the team, he even almost cried during eating. The whole night they all talked about themselves and told Kajima it was okay to be proud for who he really was, a boy. After that, they all went home. Hinata decided to spend the night at Kajima's house, reminding the Ravenette that he will always love and support him. I love you Kajima, just know I'll love and support you forever and ever. I love you too. Bok, thank you for accepting me. She he right right well she he uh huh well she he his pronouns are he him now are you going to respect that or is this they them gonna turn you into a war was.